our social license to be dairy farming is always on thin ice. You know, the, so the more we can do to tick that box off, the better. And we've got a tool that's real easy to put in, real easy to manage. It's just, you manage it the same as your rest of your grasses. Um, there's benefits there as far as um, the milk quality and um, omegas um, increasing in it. We farm here in Mamaku, farming with my wife Paula. We're milking 700 cows, 265 effective hectares. We're just to the west of Rotorua up on the hill there. This is an awesome place to farm actually, some are safe. We've got a great team on the farm actually, yeah we've got really good staff, we're quite lucky. Our daughter Zara is now working on the farm as well, so that's pretty neat to have her along. We purchased the farm in 2017, um, knowing the rules uh, for the lake catchment here in Rotorua. We've been looking for tools to lower our nitrogen leaching while still being profitable. Some of the tools we're using is, we do have some runoffs that we're wintering cows off, um, that definitely helps, but the main tool that we've been using is Ecotain. Um, Ecotain works really well and the science behind it is, uh, it's just getting stronger. Ecotain was introduced to us by probably uh, Daniel at Farm Source, but it, there was a big Dairy NZ led research on the Ecotain and we wanted to be part of it right from the start. So we were sort of ready for our 2032 targets as far as nitrogen in the lake. So we started introducing it um, just by throwing it around in the furt, um, putting a couple of kilos a hectare. I think originally we put four kilos a hectare and we got some massive results. Um, but since then we've just brought it back and we've got a policy of two kilos a hectare going in on the furt. Um, and we're using the prill coat which is, so if you want to get two kilos of seed in, you put four kilos of the prill coat in it. That's just a lime coating on it that helps with ballistics, so it, you don't get striping up through the paddocks, it sort of goes a bit wider. Putting on the fur, it's the easiest, it takes no extra effort from us. The truck was driving around anyway, so it's just a matter of throwing it on top and it ends up growing where it needs to. I do find it actually grows better on the probably the bonier areas of your paddock. Um, those little hillsides that um, ryegrass probably struggles a little bit to grow there. Um, we're getting great results from the ecotain on there. So overall I actually think we're growing more yield because of it, because it's filling those areas where ryegrass doesn't quite work the same. You know there's a lot of benefits there, even if nitrogen's not your thing. It really should be, because dairy farming is one of the higher leaching types of farming, so the lower we can get that in line with everyone else, the better. Ecotain being the herb, it also brings those trace minerals through, so it's more of a balanced diet for the cows, we'd like to think. Um, look, we've, we haven't had any issues with it, and we've got 21% of our pastures. We've got no problems whatsoever. I have heard of people saying it struggling late autumn to graze it, because it could go a bit warty, but we've never had that problem. I've never, I've never come across it. We've, it's all just, as long as your grazing management's good, it should be good. You'll notice cows in the spring, they actually go and source it out. They'll go and look for it before anything else. So yeah, but generally you go and watch the cows eat it and they, they don't care, they'll just take whatever's there and carry on. So there's no issues there whatsoever as far as palatability, um, grazing management, it's all just the same as ryegrass. We've used Daniel for a few years now. Um, from Farm Source. Um, he's a great source of advice actually. If I've got any questions, straight to him and he'll tell me straight up whether it's going to work or not. So Steve's been an early adopter of Ecotain um, and you know from, from my understanding of adoption, farmers trust other farmers so if we can have Steve up here working and, and trying this stuff, farmers are a lot more interested in, in trying it themselves and seeing how it can work on their property. Um, it's one thing to, to give advice to someone, but being able to offer some of Steve's benefits and how, how it's directly impacted him plays a massive part in the rest of our region, taking learnings and being willing to give it a try. Having Agricom's uh, ballistic pack has been really useful. Um, it means we can put plantain and clover uh, ready to spread with fertiliser in a bag. Um, farmers are putting on spring fur, um, well, regardless, so if we can have a product that they pour straight in the fur, it doesn't cost them any more um, to apply it. So we're not dragging a drill around purely for this. It also opens up that timing option rather than doing everything in the autumn with the new gra regrassing. We can go back in with uh, in the spring and have it ready to go in those prime conditions and then it can come up when, when the conditions suit. We've done a, a lot of financial modelling on different systems out to 2032 because that's 2032 is our target where we have to lower our nitrogen by 30%. We've looked at standoff pads, we've looked at lowering cow numbers. By far the best return is just adding the ecotain into our pastures. 
we can achieve those targets and not really change our system, we can still milk our 700 cows. To learn more about Ecotain, contact your local farm source rep.